How's it going everybody? This is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a usage of decorators in Angular. Before I show you how decorators can help you to write a modular code, I'm going to take you to Angular documentation. So if you go to Angular documentation and you go to API reference and you click on this type, you can select this decorator. Once I do that, it's going to filter out all the decorators from documentation. And here are some of the core decorators available in Angular. And they're all built on TypeScript. So for example, to create a component, you create this uh, component decorator on the top and create a JavaScript or TypeScript class. And then this decorator basically tells the Angular compiler that it is going to make this class as a uh, Angular component. And same goes for this ng module. Then you also have this injectables. That's another decorator that takes some uh, parameters as well. As you can see, Angular is actually built around decorators. And decorators are very powerful. Right now in TypeScript, I'll take you to TypeScript documentation. Here is the documentation for decorators. So let's quickly read this passage here. Okay, so it says, with the introduction of classes in TypeScript, let me zoom out a bit. There now exists certain scenarios that require additional features to support annotating or modifying classes or class members. And decorators provide a way to add both annotations and metaprogramming syntax for class declaration and members. If you want to read more about this, you are more than welcome to read it. I'm not going to read it for you, but basically a decorator is a special kind of declaration that can be attached to this class declaration, method, accessor, property, parameters, and the syntax for that is using this add symbol and then an expression. Let's create a new Angular project. Project is ready. I'm going to open that project into VS Code. Let's open app component.typescript file. In our app component class, I'm going to paste this function called run decorator. It is returning promise any. It's logging hello from run decorator. It's just run, returning promise to resolve now. Right, so this is the function that we want to trigger from UI. I'm just going to go into app component and here we have this click event which is run decorator and it's going to execute that code i'm going to go to terminal and let's start the application it's running now so let's click here and let's open that into the sick room so here we have this run decorator button let's open developer tools I'm going to zoom in to developer tools as well. Let's go to console and I click on that and it says hello from run a decorator. Now let's just say we are creating a function that we want to log every time that function runs. So instead of this, I'm going to actually leave this here, but I'm going to create a few functions. Let's say run decorator, run decorator, run decorator, run decorator. Okay, and I'm going to add, let's say, two, three, four. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to make sure that I log the execution of these functions. Now I could do console log into every single function there, but also I could do this by creating a custom decorator. Currently in this file, if you notice, we already have one decorator called app component. And this is actually making this as a, app component in angular so let's go ahead and then create a new decorator i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to just say logging dot decorator dot ts file i'm going to first of all start with export keyword then function and then we're going to use this logging as basically the name of the function then we're going to use the target property key and then the descriptor. We can access the original function by accessing this descriptor, which is a property descriptor type. So let's go ahead and first of all do that. I'm going to use this const 
original matter equal to descriptor dot value. Now this way I get the original method. Then I can use this descriptor dot value and create a new function, which is going to grab this args and then it's going to log the property key. And I'm going to remove actually let's let's leave this here then it's going to get the original results from original method this is what we're applying and it's going to return the result so i'll save this and we are going to use the stack right now which will log this property key every time we run it in our app component i've already imported that logging from loading uh, logging this decorator and here the way you use it is similar as you use this add component so here you say add logging add logging just before the function okay now let's go and take a look at what happens so if i just clear the console and i click on this run decorator it says run decorator is running i click on run decorator 2 it says run decorator 2 is running run decorator 3 is running run decorator 4 is running so as you can see every time you want to log things from your function you don't have to do a console log all you gotta do is just use this decorator now let's get back to decorator function i'm gonna explain certain things in that it might be confusing for you right now, but let me just make some spaces here. So first of all, it's a simple function that takes target, property key, and then descriptor. A descriptor will have original value that we're trying to execute or we're trying to uh, annotate this decorator with. So in this case, this is going to be run decorator function. And this value is actually run decorator function. We're taking that and then we're setting that value to this variable called original method. Then we're using descriptor the value, which was the original method, but in this case, we are going to create a new function and setting that to descriptor.value. Now, as we're running this function now, what we can do inside this, we can do any kind of logic here. So I can do something like console.log hello from decorator function, you know, and I can do some logging finished running original method. So you can do some execution before you run the original method and you do run that by using this original method, which was here and dot apply with this dot org. So it's going to run the actual method and whatever the result that you're going to get from original method is going to be set to this result variable. So you have two places now before the original method and after the original method, you can do whatever logic you want and then you can even modify the result from original method. And that's what the these Angular components actually do. They take this as a class and then they add certain things to it to make an Angular component. And save this file. Now if I go and refresh this, we're getting an error saying run decorator promise any. I think I've made some changes there. No change. So let's go take a look. Yep. Okay. So now if I do run decorator two, so it says hello from decorator finish running original method. And now I'm going to go and do something within the original method. So I'll just say console.log original method. And we can say run. Um, okay. So that's my original method. At this time, if I click on this run decorator, you say it doesn't run the original method from the, the function that we had here, which is this original method run decorator, but let's run the first one. So once I do that first one, so what happens here is you can see the hello from decorator, which has been defined before the original method is executing, which is here, that's what executed and then the original method and original method is just logging original method run decorator and then we are using this console log to run uh, some stuff after the original method was called so here is a log for that cool so if you want to explore more 
about decorators here is a guide i'll put that link into the description of this video and you can do a lot a lot more powerful things uh, with typescript using this decorators because you can define a decorator for the class for example here it's called sealed right you can do decorator for the methods that we've just seen like enumerable enumerable false or true or you can do a properly decorator it's just like in angular you have something like get input so format hello dash um percentage sign as so a lot of information here in try this guide and then you'll be able to do a lot more stuff with angular having your custom decorators